What's going on guys, Sachi is here and welcome to episode number 10 of Train to Glory. So, I don't even know what that voice was. Anyways, there is a couple of links in the description below. Um, there is one that takes you to a straw poll for the career mode that I'm going to be doing. Then do vote on that please. I am going to be closing it tomorrow. So if you haven't voted then please do vote. Um, I would rather you vote for one of the teams that have the most votes. Uh, because they're the ones that are most likely to win. And also, if you did miss my cheat beast video from yesterday, then do check that out because he does appear in this episode and he scores a flipping wonder goal. So, as you can see, we've finally made it to 100,000 coins through trading and playing the game. And I have started trading a lot with silver players. I've found it a lot, lot easier than gold players. And I may even explain the methods um, in the next video. It's similar to one method that I've used before, like the minimum and max price method. But... Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll just explain it to you in the next episode. So, as you can see, we did build back the Bundesliga team. We did upgrade that CM position um, to Gundogan now instead of Thiago. I've used Gundogan on my main account, and I really do like him uh, much, much better than Thiago um, defensively for sure. So, we're starting Division 7 today, and this first team we come up against is a sweaty Russian league team with Dumbia and Musa, who I'm sure he's just going to rely on and uh, abuse to try and win this game. However, straight from the kickoff, we just went on a little bit of a dribble with Kalou. Breezing past players, he's not really tackling me. We hit the post, and we finally do get it in. And it's only, what, just under two minutes gone, and we're already 1-0 up. Basically, from a simple dribble, he is dog shit at defending. Look at that, he just... That was a terrible slide tackle, and Maxi straight from the kickoff, from making it 1-0, made it 2-0, and then he decided to foul my player off the ball and bagged himself a red card. Firstly, I don't even know how this guy is in Division 7 because he's absolute dog shit. And secondly, Maxim takes the free kick and then scores that thing of fucking beauty. What a fucking goal, lads. What a flipping goal. I showed you yesterday how this guy is amazing at free kicks. You just saw firsthand what he can do at free kicks. And that is actually the best goal I've scored from a free kick with Maxim. Just look at this. It's the perfect free kick. It goes right in the top corner. And I have to say, I am really, really happy with that goal. And then we did get a penalty. Uh, Maxim did get challenged. And then he kind of got lifted off the ground. Like, I believe I can fly. Anyways, um, that crap thing. And anyways, we did make it 4-0 with Kalu. And this was an absolute row. I was just, you know, going past him with absolute ease. Um, in and out with Kalu, making it 5-0. This guy was literally the worst player at defending. I, I can't believe how bad he was. And then we just chipped him just to rub salt into the wounds. And I was thinking, could we get double figures in this episode? We went round the keeper with the fake shot. Just very, very cheeky. And then he decided to start scoring some own goals. And I don't really know why. Um, does it make him feel better? It certainly just up my goal difference. And... We actually got to 11-0, and it wasn't done there. He kept trying to score own goals, and Maxim actually did get that one in to make it 12, and then it ended up 13-0. That is my biggest ever win in FIFA, and I, I don't even know what to say. Maxim got three, Kalu got five, and Mobile didn't even get one, surprisingly. But um, that was, like, one of the weirdest games ever. He was so, so shit. And I'm surprised he didn't even rage quit. Like, why wouldn't you rage quit? Anyways, this second game, we come up against a very strong-looking 4-4-2 with Rodriguez up front and Mandzukic. So this was going to be a tricky game. Um, he hasn't got insane pace up front. However, this guy was a decent player. We nearly took the lead early on. But from the corner, his goalkeeper made a complete mess of that. He started coming out and then he never got to it. Top rack did make it 1-0. And we really, really should have done better there with Maxim. Uh, should have made that 2-0. And then it came out to inform Rakitic, who got very lucky because it did deflect off one of my players. I think it was actually Maxim. And Rakitic did actually get the goal to make it 1-0. I didn't think he deserved it. He was an alright player, but he wasn't, you know... That great, but straight from the kickoff, we did regain the lead with Immobile from the rebound. A very nice slide to make it 2 1. And just before half time, we had a really good opportunity from that chip. We should have really done better and got down target. But at half time, it was a very even game. And then straight from 
Um, straight the second half, he did make it 2-all. So he equalised yet again, which really pissed me off. But again, straight from the kickoff, Kalou was through. And Marcelo did challenge him. And he did slide into the onto the ground. And Kalou made it 3-2 from the penalty spot yet again. That's two penalties already in this episode. And then a long ball from Young into Kalou. And then he gets challenged yet again. And where is the flipping penalty, ref? Where is the penalty? That's even more of a pen than the other one. And then he had a throw in. He threw it straight to me. I was trying to sweat it in. And I was failing. But eventually, Maxime bundled it home. I have to say, I was making a complete hash of things there. I was failing so bad at trying to sweat it in. But luckily, it did go in in the end. However, this was the type of game I just felt EA were trying to script something. They were trying to get him back into the match. He did manage to get one back. And then it was squeaky bump time for the last 10 minutes. He had a couple of decent opportunities. And then in the last second... Really, he had a shot with Vela and it was finally saved and cleared and we did end up winning the game 4-3. It was one of those games where I just thought he was going to get something out of. But we extend the winning streak. The unbeaten streak is like 10 or 11 games now and we are doing really, really well at the minute. So this final game we come up against a 4-3-3 and mainly Liga Portuguesa team with a couple of Brazilian players. And we managed to get yet another penalty in this episode. A really, really stupid slide challenge. Which really wasn't needed so early on in the game. We did luckily get it in to make it 1-0. His goalkeeper really should have done better there. It was kind of weird how we actually uh, you know, tried to save it. Anyways, we uh, pretty much dominated this match. We made it 2-0 soon after. Only 12 minutes gone. And you can kind of see where this match is going. You know, we're feeling pretty comfortable I'm winning plenty of games. I haven't lost in over 10 games in this series. Um, however, I just fell asleep. I just fell asleep, really, um, from the kickoff and just let Nanny run through. It, it was really, really stupid of me, but it did actually give me a wake-up call that I needed. However, Lima was through and Leno making a very, very important save, just like he did in the last game. But once we did get forwards, we were looking deadly. His defending was pretty shambolic, I'm not going to lie. And we made it 3-1 with Immobile, who isn't scoring that many goals. I don't know why. He used to score more goals. He isn't really playing as well as I normally think he would. So maybe Ramos might be something that I might try in the next episode. However, we did make it 4-1. With a nice fake shot just to take the keeper out of the equation. And that was it. He rage quit at half time. And that is three wins out of the three games in this episode, guys. Thank you for watching. We are really, really doing well in this series now. We've only lost three games legitimately. Um, we do have two disconnects as well. So our win to loss ratio is around about five. Um, if you don't count the disconnects. As you can see, nine points. Please do leave a like and subscribe. And yeah, I will see you in my next video.